Boutonnier deformity, the, flex, the extensor tendons which go but over the fingers have a, a complex pattern. The Boutonnier deform, deformity classically will be a rugby player that stubs the end of his finger and this will cause the, um, the finger to adopt a posture where the joint here flexes and the patient will have a finger that looks like this. Okay, it can take a, um, a number of weeks before this deformity happens. In the beginning, they'll have stubbed, injured their finger, they'll have pain over the back of the finger and often be told everything's okay. And then slowly, slowly, they will develop this type of posture where this finger, it's a sort of zigzag, where this joint bends, flexes, and the distal end of the finger extends. Now, I'm telling you this, um, you'll notice that many rugby players do have fingers which actually look like this. Um, the Boutonnier deformity can cause increasing stiffness and uh, decreased function in the hand. If it's picked up early, this injury can be managed by splinting this joint, allowing the end to move, and certainly six weeks of splintage and a removable splint, the vast majority of these heal very well. The more neglected patients where the, it hasn't been picked up and they've already developed a deformity, there are a number of surgical procedures to realign the tendons and to restore the function in the finger and restore um, the, um, the straightness of the finger itself. And um, however, these certainly do take a few months to recover from. So the mainstay of treatment is conservative treatment, picking up these injuries early when a patient stubs their finger, noticing that um, this deformity is coming on and um, aggressive management with a splint. Okay? Yeah.